From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your top stories at this hour. Seven Pinellas County organizations are recipients of Bayfront Health St. Pete's First Community Grant Program. These grants will be used to improve access to care, help address mental health and substance abuse, improve facilities and improve access to transportation. The grants range between $7,000 to $50,000. The best of Pinellas County is coming to a screen near you. The 11th film in the county in less than a year wrapped up on Wednesday. Actress Haley Duff is making her directorial debut with Project Baby, bringing her vision to life in Pinellas County. And the St. Pete Clearwater Film Commissioner says Pinellas County is a hotbed for the state because Pinellas and Hillsborough offer 10% cash back for money spent locally. And now here's Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with Florida's most accurate forecast. Dennis? How you doing, everybody? Pretty dry out there across most of the area on Wednesday. I mean, we looked at some evening showers and thunderstorms, but that Saharan dust gave kind of a milky look to the sky throughout the afternoon. It kept rain chances down. It kept temperatures up, though, with the drier air. We ended up hitting highs in the middle 90s across most of the area. Few evening showers and storms possible, otherwise waking up to more sunshine on Thursday. A couple of isolated storms in the afternoon, but rain coverage remains lower than average, not just on Wednesday, but Thursday into Friday. I think it'll be the weekend before things get back to normal. For the boaters, southeast winds 5 to 10 knots, water temperature, clear water 90 degrees. Sunrise 658, sunset at 812. The beach dry all day, maybe a couple of coastal showers late afternoon, early evening. But at least through 2 o'clock, you're good to go. Florida's most accurate seven day lower rain chances on Thursday and Friday. But I think by the weekend and next week, we're back to where we should be for the middle of August.